Welcome back. Uh, of course, we're moving into our second segment for today, and uh, we are about to get all the final details for the upcoming first ever International Yoga Festival being held on New Year's Eve in Belize City. And we have uh, two representatives of the steering committee, or the planning committee. We have Takara Pantan, who's the treasurer, and we have Michelle Williams, who is the chair, I believe. And we have featured guests for the International Yoga Festival, none other than MC Yogi. Good morning and welcome, and thank you all for being here. Thanks for Pretty sure at this hour we took you all away from your practice, so we appreciate <laughs> it, right? <laughs> so uh, let's just start off. Uh, I want to jump into uh, MC Yogi being here, and uh, it is your first time in Belize. First time. So I got to ask, uh, what has been your first impression since you got here on Boxing Day? Uh, well, t Belize is probably, I've traveled all around the world. Uh, mm -hmm. This year we, we performed in China and Tokyo and Korea and almost every state in the United States. Um, but honestly, and I'm not just saying this, like, I think Belize is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And not just the ocean, but the people and the, the culture and the food has been incredible here. So I, I, I'm hoping, please, 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 I get to come back to Belize. <laughs> Now, I want to find out just a little bit about uh, your work. And mm -hmm. it was interesting when the yoga festival was first being planned uh, and you were announced as the featured guest. I think originally people were saying, oh, is it a yoga instructor? Is it someone who does yoga and sing? And I think uh, all the pieces have been put together at this point. But let's just talk about your own unique career path and how you ended up there. So I, I grew up, I was a juvenile delinquent. So I was kicked out of three schools, arrested a lot of times. I was a graffiti artist, and I got into a lot of trouble with gangs and drugs, uh, violence. And when I was 17 years old, I found yoga and meditation thanks to my father, and it, it changed my life. And it, it sent me on a path, it gave me a direction and a purpose. And since that time, I traveled all around the world, and even taught and performed at the White House. So it helped me to get, um, it helped me to heal, yeah. to get clear, and so now I'm here. Yeah. And it's really interesting that you talk about how you discovered yoga and how it helped you to heal, and it led you to a place where you're happy with yourself, and you know, and you're able to spread that message of happiness to others. How receptive do you find it is when it comes to, I think, young people? Yeah. How open are they to that message? Um, way more open than older people. Really? Yeah. In fact, today we're going to the youth hostel, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be talking with the kids, and I'm really excited about that because that's I lived in a program like that for two and a half years, like a boot camp. And for me, like connecting with the kids is what it's all about because uh, if if you can make a little change, like when you're 12, 13, 14 years old, it can change the rest of your life. And I was lucky f that my dad showed me yoga and meditation because otherwise, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I don't think I'd be here. You know, a lot of my friends ended up um, in jail, committed suicide, went to war, yeah. did a lot of things um, that led them down a path that was very dark and destructive. Yeah. And yoga helped me be creative and positive. So help, hopefully I can help other people. Yeah. And where did the fusion come into play, the fusion of music and yoga? See, we, we grew up listening to hip-hop since I was like seven, eight years old. So, you know, my brother's a DJ, I'm an MC and an artist, and music has always been a part of our life. When I was growing up, my dad used to, um, the first thing I heard in the morning was my dad playing the piano. So that's how we woke up in the morning. So music for me was always a source of happiness and joy and peace. So when I started practicing yoga, I just started to bring the two together, and then it was like magic. All of a sudden, all these incredible things started happening. How surprised are you by, by the reception uh, that people have had to your work? You, you've spoken about touring uh, all over the world. We have some great images up of you uh, performing on stage. What, what, what has it been like for you? Yoga was kind of your personal transition. Music, uh, obviously, you seem to have a soundtrack for your own life. Uh, mm -hmm every day and I think uh, oh, I once a, you have I, those I have a soundtrack for you you do can I give <laughs> you a it? gift go ahead okay I need to see your wrist <laughs> you ready let's go Oops. <laughs> there we go. only love is real I love that so that That's has really uh, three hours of music on it it's a USB it yeah. does it is 
That's, That's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. Now, thank you. You're welcome. You you take something, and, and creative people go through this process all the time, and you do it because you have to. It's just in you, and it yeah. has to come out. And then you spread it to the world, and they like it, and they want more. What is that journey like for you, and how do you keep up with fulfilling your own creative thought process and still keeping relevant uh, in the larger society? Well, my whole career started... Um, with Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. So I did a video when Obama was running for president in 2008 and it went viral. It reached over like a million people on YouTube and that kind of launched me. Yeah. And, and since then, like I mentioned earlier, we've, we've taught at the White House, taught all over the world um, and, and performed. But for me, how I stay so relevant... you taught yoga at the White House. I sang and taught yoga. We've done it actually four or five times now. Okay. Uh, I don't know that we're going to go back next year. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, but we won't talk about that. There'd be some great <laughs> meditation. You know, it's, it's necessary. Good opportunity. Yeah. When he says we, yeah. um, his, him and his wife, I, yeah. Um, Amanda, are kind of like... A team, right? Yeah. She's in a 100%. Yeah. yeah so. Professionally working together as well as sharing your life. She's obviously here in studio. So uh, <laughs> I want to be able to, to, to move now into coming to Belize. Yeah. How did this connection? I, I believe it was over Facebook. Was that what you had reminded me? Um, it was like a social media actually, connection. I, some sort? I've been to one. I've been to um, Wynwood in, in Miami. And I actually, I, I attended... Um, it kind of like a festival in Miami, and I, I was very impressed, and I thought that would be something cool to bring mm -hmm. to Belize, but that was years ago, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like in the back of my mind, and, and so when the connection was made and he was available to come, it just seemed to be great synergy, and his message was really kind of like um, the, the propelling force behind what I was doing here in Belize. I use his music when I teach the the children on the south side and I mm. use his music at the prison and it's something that because it's got this really young um, hip hop beat mm -hmm. the words are so inspiring so filled with love and self compassion and uh, all that stuff that it really it kind of it, it gelled yeah. and I was finding the more that I was using his music to teach the more the kids would be like after their final relaxation can we listen to that song again or can we watch ah. that video again and I just thought it was it was kind of like the 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 perfect uh, mesh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. yeah. So um, we are so we're so grateful that he took the time out, both him and Amanda, because they've been so busy, um, mm -hmm. to come and to to share this with us. It's the first ever, you know. So mm -hmm. it's um, it's new ground, um, yeah. but we're hoping that New Year's Eve will be something new and something that we can we can carry on every year. Yeah. So that people that, that attend will look forward to the new year in a really uh, healthy, um, positive way. Yeah. So now yeah. Yeah. let's bring it over to Andazi and I'll use Andazi because we know you as a promoter. <laughs> exactly. You put together uh, uh, concerts of all sorts mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm very sure that you've been integral in putting together uh, some of the uh, entertainment elements of the festival. Let's talk about what's different for you in this capacity. An international yoga festival, as you pointed out, is new to Belize. Yeah. Um, but there are many people who are looking forward to it. There are many people who want to try it for the first yeah. time on New Year's Eve. What are some of the things that people can expect when they come? Well, we're going to be having a number of different yoga classes throughout the day, different mm -hmm. styles of yoga. Mm -hmm. So you have like the classical Hatha yoga, you have some more rigorous yoga like um, Ashtanga and Vinyasa. We also have a lot of meditation classes. I'll be teaching a yoga nidra meditation class. Um, we have the Jankuna dancers passing through yeah, throughout the day, you know, in, um, before two o'clock. So make mm -hmm. sure you get out there early. And we're gonna have all different types of food, healthy food. Yeah, we have organic, organic food. Some this family from Cayo that um, live off of the land is gonna share some raw vegan stuff. They actually do. Um, they have a nonprofit where they're holding workshops to try to encourage people to live healthier, and that it's easy. They can grow food in their backyard and 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 eat healthier. So, but we also have the Larua. La Rubea, La Rubea. La Rubea. drummers, which we're really excited to get. These are some Garifuna drummers, um, kind mm -hmm. of like what you were listening to before. Some punta. We yeah, yeah. Some punta. Oh, you like the punta. <laughs> All right. We love when people like the music because we look forward yeah, yeah. to the fusions later, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 
But it's really given me, I mean, when you're doing um, concerts for the masses, mm -hmm. you kind of have to just cater to them and what they like, mm -hmm. you know, and it's really given me an opportunity to do something that I want to do regardless of, <laughs> you know, how the mass is going to yeah. react. And, you know, like we said, it's very important for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a 12 year old niece, you know her, she's mm -hmm. a dancer, you know, and she's so excited to come to the festival. Mm. You know, um, so when I see that we're touching the kids and we're able to make a change early mm -hmm. in their life, you know, that's something really positive that I. MC know. Yogi's workshop. He, him and um, I, both um, him and Amanda will teach a, a, a class yeah. from six until seven thirty. So it's going to be super cool. I'm guessing you're going to use some of your music. Sure. Yes, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and um, so his class will be from six until seven thirty in the evening. Mm -hmm. So the sun's down. It's not so hot. You can come enjoy, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll have a, a nice. Uh, mass like meditation circle mm -hmm. and then we have a little break and then we go into his concert which is from 10 30 until midnight mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, so right before the fireworks right, yes, before, right before the, the fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> thank you mayor bradley <laughs> you'll be doing your final relaxation and then waking up now actually you're going to be hyped up you're going to be yeah, yeah, party. Very hyped yeah. up. <laughs> now for the person who isn't yeah. a yogi who's never done yoga but they want to come why would why should they what would draw what, what do you think would draw them what yoga does it is it offers tools um, to cope with a num number of things that happen mm -hmm. in this life now. You know, we're super, we're super connected all the time to our phones. Yes. We're always stressed. We're always worrying about um, where we need to be, where we've been. I mean, it's something that I'm, I'm still always working on. Mm -hmm. um, but what yoga does, it just, it, first of all, the fundamental thing, it teaches you to breathe properly so that you can really kind of like oxygenate your body and just really kind of relax and get more in tune with the moment. Yeah. And so it just, just to offer tools to, to help you relax and to, to, to be less stressed, you know? Yeah. Is it uh, something that a absolute uh, beginner can enjoy? I actually teach a restorative class. That's the, those are the classes that I've been teaching for like the past year. Mm -hmm. And um, so the restorative class is something that anyone can, can come to. It's kind of slow paced. Um, I infuse a lot of mantras and just slow paced stuff. So anybody yeah. can do that. And then we actually have a beginner's yoga class okay. that's going to be taught as well. So yes. And the classes are uh, scheduled throughout the day. It's, a it's an all-day festival, right? From 6 in the morning. Okay. We start with Jerry Enriquez does his mindfulness meditation, and there's a kundalini yoga class. Okay. At the same time, there's two to three classes running at the same time, pretty much every mm -hmm. hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So we have the schedule on our Fed Facebook page, okay. so you can see what classes you might want to want to take and there's also a little bit of information about the classes and the, and the instructors mm -hmm. there's information about MC Yogi and his classes and his concert and his music um, so yeah just so you can be to able to participate in at least one class throughout the day there and you are workshops can, what are the workshops about well we we kind of called um, MC Yogi's class a workshop but it's it's just a pretty cool yoga class okay. mm. <laughs> um, right I'm talking for you. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what can we expect at your workshop? So my wife and I, Amanda, she's, she's also a, an incredible painter, and she does murals mm -hmm. all around the world. Mm -hmm. I think maybe when we met in Miami, she was doing a mural. At yes, yeah. at, uh, uh, Wynwood. Wynwood. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. she does these incredible murals. So she's an incredible artist, and um, what we do is we come together. We have great music, and we make it fun. Mm -hmm. And we've been teaching this class... Um, I think we taught one in Brooklyn. There was probably about 7,000 people wow. in the yoga class. So we've been teaching these massive classes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's sort of like a celebration on your yoga mat. Mm. So it's fun. It's that. like you're going to get a good workout, maybe even sweat a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're going you're gonna to leave feeling like you just went through the car wash. Nice. So that gonna, doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. So you're going to get some really nice stretching, some deep breathing. Yeah. Um, good feelings, relaxation, and you'll leave feeling 100% better. Let it all out before That's 2017. Right. Yeah, yeah, we also way. have therapies. So we're going to mm. have, uh, we have massages. Um, Hein, uh, Dev Harikur is going to be doing pole reflex 
reflexology and biomagnetism. So it's different, different therapies as well um, that help with um, self-healing and detoxing and all that sort of stuff. So um, those, they will also be available, the massages. I think somebody's doing facials. But mm -hmm. there's also those therapies available that you can come in and book. And I think they're going to be at a much lower rate mm -hmm. as if you needed to book one. Mm -hmm. But then we have a stall, we're going to have coconut water, we're going to have fruits, we're going to have all these things happening in one section of Healthy the, foods available. Healthy food. There's actually somebody coming that's going to bring yummy vegan uh, desserts. But mm -hmm. if you look at them, you, it, they look divine. They look <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't, maybe even shouldn't have even said, because they wouldn't. <laughs> well, you, you say desserts and I'm on the <laughs> That's just how easy it is for me. Yeah. So there's food, there's yoga, there's and music. music. Exactly. Anything else that people need yeah. to know is going to be happening? All yeah. ages, actually, it's, it's a, a family, family event. event. Affair. Yeah. From uh, to 12 below, they enter free. Okay. Okay. So it definitely is an encouragement to bring your children. And no drugs or alcohol. No drugs, no alcohol. <laughs> Just music. <laughs> music is the only drug. Music, it's good. Is, exactly. music and, and, and the breath that you take yeah. and um and the, the stretches that take place. And yeah, it's just that time, you know, that self, yeah. that time. Mm -hmm. Quiet time by yourself. And True. we do have special um, children's yoga classes and children's oh. meditation as yeah. well. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you could come out with your entire family, mm -hmm. you know, at any point during the day. Yeah. Now I, I just have, have to a great ask time. one very yeah. important question because, and, and it's obviously to the only male on set at this time. You know, a lot of people assume that yoga and meditation and mindfulness practice is more for women, they seem to show more interest. Especially here in Belize. Yeah. Especially yeah. here in Belize. Talk about uh, the level of interest you see from men in other places that you work and why uh, it is something that as a man is still something that you enjoy uh, despite the perceptions that people may have. Sure, why? Um, the, peop the men that I've experienced do yoga are really high, um, high performance people, like yeah. some of the top athletes in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, in some... So my teacher in India said that anyone can practice yoga. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel well, you can practice yoga. If you're young, you can practice yoga. If you're old, you can practice yoga. There's only one type of person that can't practice yoga, and that's if you're lazy. <laughs> so, Oops. <laughs> so the, practice yoga. So the men that I know that practice yoga are baseball players, soccer players, performing. Right. They're artists. They're yeah. like really successful people. Absolutely. And they use their yoga practice as a way to really get their mind clear and their body fit so that they can be really successful. Mm -hmm. So yoga is really something that... Um, it's, it's something that if you're a man and yeah. you want to be really successful yep. and you want to be surrounded by a lot of beautiful women, <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's there how There is I, a good deal. That's how I met my wife. You know? <laughs> now, you know, and I thought you said something so important. More and more you have all these uh, interviews of what successful people do mm -hmm. as a part of their regular routine and, uh, you know, you're quickly becoming to realize from the uh, top CEOs in big companies to yeah. professional athletes to politicians, spend time doing meditation and yoga. Mm -hmm. Because it obviously does something to help them in their successful path. Mm -hmm. So the more people we can get involved, the better. Yeah, it helps for you to maintain and to not burn out. You know, mm -hmm. there's always that time that you need to kind of. We uh, we were talking about a couple of days to just like reset, mm -hmm. recharge. recharge. But I, I always like to say too, it, like it goes beyond even those things. Um, yoga goes beyond borders. It go, goes beyond cultures. It goes beyond gender. gender. Yeah. It goes beyond religious beliefs. It goes beyond all those things. Yeah. So the perception that it's it's not that. It's really you know, they, they, like he said, anybody can do yoga. Absolutely. And it's a great way to center yourself. When I was living in London, I'm Christian, but I would visit this Buddhist center just to meditate. It's a really great way to reset and remind yourself what your existence is about, why you're here, what you want to accomplish, the people in your life. It's really good right. for, for that personal reminder. And I think that's, a, that's another good message that that this festival is bringing, and that's awesome. And yeah. anybody can take advantage yeah. of it on New Year's Eve in Belize City. Yes. Let's talk about the cost of yeah. the festival, the cost to enter. Under 12 is free. You Under 12 much? is free. We have a couple of different packages. Okay. Uh, it's there. If you want to come for all access, it's 75 Belize. Mm -hmm. 
um, and that's one person. And if you come with a group of five, it's 60. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, um, it, then it works its way down. So okay. for the concert, there's a, there's a price. And then if you come with a group of five, it's a different price. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's something we forgot to mention, too. And if you want a drop-in class, it's $20. It's $20. $20. Yeah. Um, so the all-access does make sense. You can come, you go, you'll get your wristband. You can do a class. You can go yeah. do your shopping, come back, yeah. do another class, take a medication uh, class. You, we have Caden Bennett, who's going to be talking about um, urban gardening and getting mm -hmm. back into nature. Mm -hmm. And we also have this family that's coming to talk about um, wellness for the people. So you can take that workshop. Um, but you, it, it's a good reminder to say that this is actually a fundraising event for Rhythm of Change, Om Shanti mm -hmm. Belize, which is the organization that uh, Tafara, myself, mm -hmm. and five others mm -hmm. have uh, formed to try to like really spread the, the yogic message and the benefits, the healing be benefits of yoga mm -hmm. um, throughout Belize. So okay. it's for a good cause. So not only will you, you be um, experiencing really good healthy stuff, both mind, body, and spirit, uh, mm -hmm. uh, health, but you're also um, uh, contributing to a really good cause. And, and it's at Harbor View Green? Yes, Harbor View Greens. It's uh, across the street from the Belize sign. Oh, the yeah, new one. The fort. Yeah, the new Belize sign at the fort. It's okay. right across the street. We have a big sign. It's a big open grassy green area so you can't miss it mm -hmm. and it says Harbor View Greens. It has the um, International Yoga Festival logo up there. So, yeah. you know. And right there's a the park. separate parking available, all kinds of stuff you can yes. find out on your Facebook page. <laughs> the, the street will be closed from 4 until midnight. Mm -hmm. So the Fort Street from the Tourism Village pretty much to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. So we have parking allocated at just opposite um, Marab. Mm -hmm on the corner of Cork Street and yeah. Fort Street, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And all you have to do is show your ticket and you get to park there for free. And, and it's then, really close. Yes, yes. and yeah. it's just a matter of walking down. Just remember, it's not Memorial Park, you have to come oh, down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, th and then also we have parking in the Fort Point security compound, okay. just opposite, I think it's Terminal 2. In the, in the tourism in village. Yeah. So that's also another parking. Um, and all this information is on your Facebook page. On our Facebook is. page, or you can go on our website, www.omshantipalese.com. Well, we want to say thank you for you guys uh, coming in and giving us just a little bit uh, of a preview as to what people can expect. Definitely something new for Belize and definitely yes. uh, something that people can take advantage of, whether they're going to spend the entire day or have their first time experience and drop in for just yeah. one class. But right. I would really recommend coming for the concert. I think That's it's going right. to be such a wonderful family um, connection to experience good music, to be around people in a really clean environment, mm -hmm. high, high vibe, mm -hmm. you know, and to actually enter into t 2017 in a really positive way. So, do you, guys have, do you have a New Year's resolution? To love more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only love you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't move from that one. It's just like <laughs> Definitely, but we want to say thank you for being here, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Belize. We hope to see you back as well, oh, and uh, everybody's going to be jamming at ten thirty uh, yeah. at Harbor Greens. <laughs> so go. we're going to say we got to wrap up this segment. So I want to say thank you once again. Remember, uh, the International Yoga Festival is on New Year's Eve at Harbor View Greens in Belize City. It's an all-day event starting from six a.m. right up until midnight. Uh, check out their Facebook page or their website to be able to get all the additional details. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, what are you going to do with those leftovers? Mm -hmm. Well, we have the <laughs> chef from Biltmore joining us, Chef Orlando, to tell us what kind of magic you can make with that leftover. So stay, stay tuned. tuned.
across the universe.